What's going on everybody? I'm That High Canadian and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to install shaders into your FTB Revelations or modded Minecraft and whatnot. This should work for most modded versions if you install it with the other versions of Optifine. Um, as long as you use the right version with whatever version you're doing. Currently I'm using FTB Revelations version 2.1.0. What you want to know is the Minecraft version when you install these, which is 1.12.2. And the way to install this is you want to go and download Optifine. I'll put all these links in the description of the video. So you want to go down Optifine HD Ultra and you want to get the right version for the game. The one I've downloaded is this one right here. And that's the version of Minecraft I'm using. So just find the right version, get the latest, latest one for you. And then I'll show you how to install that. Uh, if you also, also, if you want, you can go get shader packs. The one I would recommend is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. The only reason I'd recommend this one is because I've installed at least five other shaders and this is the only one that actually worked properly. Uh, and if you do get it, I suggest Seuss Renewed here. Uh, just download that as it's the latest version of the, of the, of the uh, shaders currently and it should work fine. And there's really no conflicts and Optifine should also work. Uh, okay, so we're going to go right into installing it now. Alright, to install it, if you're using the Twitch launcher like I am here, uh, you'll you'll definitely have your the game in your mods folder right here. So you have a profile right here. Uh, this is the quickest way to get to all the files into your system. So what you want to do is go into your profile here, click these three dots on the right side of the screen, and just open your folder. And uh, make sure you have your Optifine jar here. I've already downloaded it. So make sure you've went and downloaded that. Um, I'm going to give you a minute or so just to go do that right now. But what you want to do is... Have the, have the mold folder. This is really easy to install. All you want to do is literally drag and drop the Optifine into here, like so. Uh, I may already have it installed, which is the issue. Yeah, I have two here, as you can see. I installed an older one. So we're going to get rid of that one. So this is the one that was installed before. As you saw, you saw me drag in the HDE3. That's fine. It's already deleted. So now it's installed. That's That's it. That's all you do installed all right uh and then this will come later so what you want to do now is just launch it and this will generate all the files in optifine and whatnot to do what it to put the shaders where you need Alright, so once the game has launched, you're going to see Optifine is installed. If you go to your options, video settings, there should be a shaders bar right here. So just click that. As you can see here, I have four shaders currently installed. Deuce Renewed is the one that works. I believe Oceano might work, and Chocopic I haven't gotten to. But anyway, so what you're going to do here, this is the part that's pretty simple. This is just how the easiest way to get to your folders instead of going through your folders. Click the shaders folder button. Launches it open just like that, uh, and you can see here, it, this is where you, you just take this, and you just drag it in here. This is the Zeus Renew download. Uh, we'll just replace the first file, get rid of it, uh, and that's it. Now, you don't even have to restart the game, just open the game, click it, and it should load. Uh, let's give it a minute, and we're going to go into the game, and I'll show you what you've gotten. But basically, that is it for actually installing the shaders there's not much more you need to do all right so zeus is now loaded uh we're gonna launch into a game here i'm gonna go into multiplayer game to show you that it just works on servers so this server it is mine but i haven't actually installed anything to show it off but we're gonna load in and you'll see that it should just be installed optifine should be installed you can go in and edit some files what i would recommend doing because the game gets really dark you do this and the brightness slider doesn't work 
I'm gonna show you something that will help a little bit. It uh, it just brightens up the torches and whatnot. The nice thing is though, the torch that you do hold give off light. So the torch in your left hand should be give off light. All right. So oh, just give it a minute to stabilize. So as you can see here, I'm gonna load everything. As you see, there's a light being given off. So if I'm not holding a torch, no light. If I am holding a torch, just light. Uh, I have upped the brightness of these torches. They uh, have been upped and whatnot. So, because otherwise the game looks yeah, really dark. Uh, I might be able to show you an example. I don't know if this isn't really an example, but basically any dark area is extremely dark. So what I did to get over that was go back to video settings and shaders. And then there's a shaders options in the bottom right here, which I clicked. And there's a thing called light lighting and shadows option. What I did was I messed with the torch light brightness, torch light fill and crank those up to two. Cause you can crank them up higher, but it's really bright. Actually not really. It just kind of seemed, but like basically the game just gets brighter. But that's how you make the game brighter. You can't use this. That does absolutely nothing. It literally changes nothing. So, that's all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, if it helps you in any way, leaving a like helps me a lot more than you know. Uh, or sub. And if you want to check out any more of my stuff, I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at twitch.tv slash thathighcanadian. And if you would like to apply for the server, just hit the whitelist. We do accept almost anybody because we're not too strict on who can join. We just want to like know a little bit about you and why you want to join. So it feels more like a community. Uh, and if you would like to know a bit about us, just message me on something or join the stream and we can have some chat. We can have a chat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out with shaders if you needed help. It should apply to almost any other mod pack. Just make sure you download the correct version of Optifine that you're installing to the mod pack. Uh, just make sure it matches with the Minecraft version. Uh, and that's all then. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Uh, I've been That High Canadian. Peace out.